Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term multiple myeloma survivor, multiple myeloma cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome. Uh, the topic of this vlog post and its accompanying blog post, uh, according to the studies below, uh, is an issue uh, that I think pretty much every myeloma patient and survivor will face at some point in their lives as um, survivors. And that is uh, if they have, if they um, achieve remission, great, then go induction therapy and um, they return to normal, M spike decreases, free light change decrease, great. Perhaps complete remission, but doesn't have to be, could be a uh, very good partial remission, partial remission, etc. So you're in remission for some period of time. Coming out of remission, you get testing done every three months, every six months, depending. And the challenge is going to be the judgment call is, uh, let's say your numbers begin to tick up. Uh, maybe your M spike has increased from uh, some form of remission and it goes up. Uh, your free light change increase. Yes, that's a bummer. None of us like that. We all want to be in remission and we all want to be normal. The point of the studies um, and really uh, my view, and this is, is just my opinion, is that if there are no CRAB symptoms, and don't forget CRAB stands for calcium, C-R-A-B, calcium renal, um, which is a fancy term for a kidney, CRA, anemia, fatigue, has to do with your red and white blood cells, um, CRAB, <coughs> uh, bone health. If you have no crab symptoms, what do you do? My experience is that uh, conventional oncology is quick to give you more toxic chemotherapy. And while that might be the right thing to do in your case, I'm just trying to educate you, make us all aware of the notion that toxicity in and of itself causes damage. So it is a judgment call. You're weighing the damage done by the myeloma, ver potentially, versus potentially the damage done by chemotherapy. All I'm saying is don't jump into it immediately. Don't rush to into, into more chemo. So to summarize, come out of remission, but no crab symptoms. What do you do? Take a deep breath. Perhaps send me an email. Ask. Look at your numbers. Are your numbers signaling anything? Think about it. Uh, it's not, all is not lost just because your M spike increases from 1.2 to 1.7. No biggie. It's the damage done potentially by the myeloma compared to offset by balanced by the damage caused by chemo. That's the issue. If you have any questions, scroll down the page, uh, uh, send me a, a question or a comment, I will reply to you ASAP. In the meantime, be well, and I look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks, bye.